This is Hollywood. Your pal Matthias Bombal with you. Following the screening of 20th Century Fox's Runner Runner, I told a studio representative who wanted to know what I thought, captivating cash caper captured in Costa Rica. And this release is just that, a well-written and capably performed story with twists and turns executed efficiently and entertainingly. We meet Justin Timberlake as a finance student at Princeton University, where he's at loose ends trying to pay for his way through school. He's working from commissions to engage other students in online gambling and is pushed to the brink and near expulsion by the dean who is aware of his activities. He gambles it all to get ahead and loses, but cleverly notices how he's lost to an online poker system, checks it out mathematically, and smells a herring. Risking what's left of his now empty life, he boards a plane to Costa Rica to find the head of an internet gambling world and wedge, or hedge, his way in by clever advantage. After finding the head of the operation at a party, the next morning he's invited aboard his magnificent yacht, and Timberlake thinks he's reached his goal as he gets to know the major domo, played by Ben Affleck. Welcome aboard. This is the house. I never in a million years thought I'd have something like this. Why the house? Because the house always wins. Which is why we don't have to cheat people. But the math is right. Am I missing something? No. No, you didn't miss anything. We missed something. I'm very grateful. And I am nothing if not world class at showing my gratitude. So, your account has been credited with the amount of money that you lost. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Well, listen. Put a little something extra in here for your troubles. I'll get you through your masters. I think that ends our business here. Unless, of course, you feel like sticking around and taking a shot at a real business. Guaranteed seven figures in the first 18 months. Guaranteed eight figures in the first three years. What do you say? Is it Newark? Or do you stick around here with me? What do you think? Just when you think it's over, a whole new plot direction emerges, and it gets better and better as it goes along. Both Timberlake and Affleck turn in very respectable performances, and were also able to enjoy lovely Gemma Arterton. Playing an FBI agent by the name of Shavers, I was really taken with the excellent performance of an actor I'd not noticed before, Anthony Mackie. He is absolutely outstanding in this movie. I understand that he has a script about the athlete Jesse Owens that he's shopping around Hollywood. I wish him every success in finding a producer. You never know what to expect from Ben Affleck. Sometimes cardboard, other times remarkable work. At the start, I was afraid it would be a corrugated performance, but as the story moved on, it got better and better, culminating in one scene where he is outstanding. Unfortunately, we don't have the full scene as it appears in the movie, but Fox has made this slightly edited version available for us to show you. Richie, how you doing, bud? Fellas, basically this place is to crocodiles what Goldman Sachs is to pricks with skinny ties. Cruise ships come down here, they dump off their edible waste. The crocs have learned to swim downriver and they know to bite whatever jumps in the water. All right, go ahead. All right, ready? Christ, Ivan! How's that feel? Is that any good? Hey! Yeah. Oh, sh Do something! Are you all right, Richie? You seem a little worked out, you know? Yeah, I'm good. I got it. Are you all right? I'm not kidding, Mouse. You gotta pull him in. What are you going to do? <laughs>
Good stuff there from Affleck. Timberlake gets better with each movie, and you'll have a great time in the theater with this one, directed by Brad Furman, who would have made the Scurrus Brothers very proud. This release is shown in that classic Fox widescreen aspect ratio of Cinemascope, The Miracle You See Without Glasses. This is your pal Matthias Bohm-Bell bidding you a fond farewell. <laughs>